So Sunlet has a very special flavor to me and I remember vividly uh, in the early days of my career when I published my first independent papers in JAX, Peter Follard, then editor-in-chief of Sunlet, approached me and asked me to write an account. What an honor. This famous man asking me to write an account. It was a personal email he sent to me and, and of course I immediately said, he said, yes, I'm going to do this. And I wrote this account and it really defined, it was a milestone in my career because it really defined what was going to happen in the following 10 years or so. I also used this account to write a grant application to the NIH, which was successful. And this interaction with Peter back and forward was really a marvelous experience. And I think it was also the basis of my decision to, uh, to become his successor, uh, which I became effectively January 1 uh, in 2015. And uh, what I want to, to do with this journal is I want to keep this great tradition of having a very personal interaction with the authors. We want to have young authors with new innovative ideas, very creative, sometimes even a little bit crazy ideas. And we want to do this in a very uh, personal relationship. You're not publishing with, with computers, with Sunlet, but with real people that care about the science and that care about synthetic chemistry. And we want to become one of the top journals in synthetic chemistry, one of the fastest journals. Hot signs need to be published quickly. And we have the SUNFAST pathway, for example, in which you can publish uh, uh, within 14 days, uh, sometimes even faster. We have the SUNPACTS for young investigators who have just published their first big paper and they can now write, put it in a little bit in a, into a context and write a story about this uh, uh, paper. And of course, we still have the very successful accounts, which, are, which you can use in any career phase, but which have traditionally been uh, very good career starters for our young investigators. So this is why I love the journal Sinlet. Thanks. <laughs>